Hello, this is a look at build 10,074. This new build has many new features, such as the new uh, audio management, as you can see here. Uh, I do not like this audio management, as it doesn't uh, allow individual apps to be changed through uh, direct sound, which I find to be quite an issue. But they'll probably update it to support it once again in the future. Uh, besides that, I don't think Rotation Lock was here before, but I never really looked into it. As you can see, they changed it to Win Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview from the original um, Windows 10 Evaluation Copy, or whatever. Um, Cortana is still not supported in Canada in Canadian English. Um, however, I've been told that it is supported in American English. Um, but when I change it to American English, it still doesn't load up properly. As you can see, they added a few new options here on the left. That just makes the menu bigger, which is redundant. Um, that's just a search button, which is the exact same page that it preloads, basically. Except this one is non-Cortana and then there's the basic Cortana settings. In the settings panel the system seems to be heavily updated. So first of all they changed the coloring scheme so now everything is highlighted in blue and basically almost everything looks uh, brand new. Um, this build tends to run a lot worse. I can see the mouse cursor is lagging quite a bit. Um, this was a leaked build. It was leaked from the Microsoft server. As you can see, they added a Windows De uh, Defender option to the Update and Security panel. Previously, just the Update and uh, Backup panel. Uh, I think for developers, still doesn't load anything. It might even crash. Yeah, it doesn't. Doesn't like the for developers section. Uh, th there's the new Get Started app, which was in um, the last public release not too long ago. So I don't have to go too much through that. I just thought I would show you that that also exists in this build. I will link the download for the ESD within the description of the video. As it is, um, directly from Microsoft servers, it's completely legal. Where before I was putting in the comments a link to a link because um, it was not a legal upload, it was actually a leaked leak. There doesn't really seem to be any new apps besides maybe this voice recorder. That's, uh, that's new. Although basically all the new apps that have been added um, existed within uh, Windows 7, etc. Uh, um, in the non-Metro style. Uh, I, as I, s I don't think I said this, but I haven't previously looked at this. I just kind of installed it. And it's, uh, you know, so I don't know what exactly to go through. Uh, I forgot to mention that they added new sound effects. So, I don't know how exactly to activate the sounds. F for example, when I got, uh, when I got, you know, notification I made a sound. Here, I'll try, uh, exiting Steam and relaunching it and seeing if, uh, I'll make the sound effect again. But yeah, as you can see, mostly they changed um, the color scheme for settings and they added the new audio manager. Um, 
this was also in the previous build, the new network management. I don't know why Steam's not relaunching now. But anyways, when it relaunches, it should make that sound again. Nope. Okay, I gotta reopen the Steam chat logger then. It should make the sound. Although sound packs are pretty redundant, it does add to the overall atmosphere. Still, it seemed to have not cared. On launch, it was making a sound. Whatever. <coughs> but yeah, I think I think I basically covered everything. I didn't really look through it, as I said. It's um, you know, trying to get the trying to be the first one on YouTube to show off this new build. So I'm pretty sure Solitaire will actually work this time. Previous build, they kept crashing on me. See in spider here. No, it still crashed. I don't know why. But yeah, things are still loading in and everything. Like I just installed this three minutes ago. Project Spartan apparently had some updates. But as I said, I never really use it, so I don't know. Still like how like the whole thing flashes in between. I see they kind of patched the in the previous build the taskbar kept hiding when I clicked out of the start menu. Which is a good thing, because that was kind of annoying. It wasn't really an issue at all, just annoying. But yeah, everything seems to be the same. I'll try uh, launching the music preview. And uh, see if they updated that at all. It still seems to be the same. Anyways, thanks, uh, thanks for watching. I will link the ESD in the description. If you want an ESD converter, just search up ESD to ISO. It takes uh, it takes like 10 minutes to convert an ESD to an ISO. Um, I have it here. And yeah, I'll link it in the description. I might record another video in the future where uh, after some people say what's new because I don't really see anything new besides the new audio manager and the new theme in the settings. Thank you.